Yeah, well, I think the, um, uh, there are so many interesting issues, right? I think on the question of healthcare, I think we, we should recognize, and education too, we are the only country among the ones who are progressing in Asia that has not done through public channel um, coverage of the entire population, uh, healthcare a, and education. And you know, beginning with Japan, South Korea, then Taiwan, and then Thailand, uh, not to mention Hong Kong, Singapore, China, all yes. of them have done. We are the only one out. And the idea that we can't do it is ridi ridiculous, it seems to me. If there's anything in the essence of India, it's our ability to do what we decide to do. We have to decide to do it. And that requires much greater interest in these subjects, which are matters of deprivation for the bulk of the Indian people. Okay. Uh, along with the minority rights, it's an enormously important question, it requires media discussion, we don't have the time to discuss. I'm out of time Ashi completely, Ashi in fact. Says, uh, Ashi says provocative question, but it's also connected with the impact of the media, how it plays up the, the communal yes. tension in urban areas compared with rural areas, rather than a matter of schooling. So I think in all these respects, what we need is what we have always relied on, namely public participation. You kindly refer to argumentative Indian. Yes. Our tradition of being able to argue on all the really important issues. And that really is the solution to each of the problems we have been discussing. I think that's a perfect note to end this on, that whatever else we don't agree on, we retain the ability to argue. That is actually the heart of our democracy, that we ask questions without fear or favor. I'm extremely sorry, it's a complex subject. I'm totally out of time. Ten seconds. Dr. Hamid, I can see you holding your mic. Just hold it closer, the mic. Yeah. Well, it was on the question of secularism. I think that the stock of the Indians is all one. What religion people have is a separate issue. 180 million Muslims didn't come to India originally. The stock is the same, whether they're Hindus or Muslims. I remember when my mother first met my father in 1925, she called my father a Hindu because India was not India then. India in 1925 was Hindustan and every citizen of Hindustan at that point in time was called a Hindu. So we are all the same stock. The stock is the same. What the religion plays games is something totally different. We leave it there on that perfect note of, of unity and hope and, 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 and education and Amartya Sen reminding us that we remain forever argumentative and as long as we ask the questions, even if we don't find the answers, we'll be a healthy democracy. As long as we ask the questions without fear or favor, remembering the principles that our constitution makers and the fathers and mothers of our constitution gave us. A big round of applause, please, for our panel.